Hi, my name's Howard Mason. I've always been a fan of Hieronymus Bosch. His style is his painting and, I, and I'm certainly not comparing this piece of work with the incredibly detailed figures and drawings of, of Mr Bosch himself. But it's just the general idea that I'm trying to portray uh, and bringing it up into a, 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 a a more modern or recent times. Uh, the paintings are broken down into different areas, different themes. Um, so for instance if I zoom in down the bottom here you'll see a group of people cheering uh, at the burning of some books, which has been quite a common practice with the war and with the Beatles. And it's basically just books that become unfashionable or people don't like anymore or it's outdated. So that in does include 1984, for example, To Kill a Mockingbird, Mice and Men, and Noddy himself. Just below that, to the left hand corner, we have the terrible situation with waste, plastic waste, We come round this way a bit further. We have the Big Brother theme of you are being watched with the cameras there and there. And we have a very important period of our time at the moment is climate control and climate change with power stations and fracking. Fracking being looked upon, uh, well I think it still is in America, I'm not 100% sure, uh, as being uh, an alternative power uh, so they can be self-sufficient. I'm not quite sure how that works out with um, saving the planet. If we come round this way we have the big cities where people migrate to from all well from all over. We have Amazon which is uh, basically taking over all aspects of life uh, from supplying its goods to banking whatever. We have violence. We have a lady who is representing the people of the South, the My Rights, who's just oblivious to everything else that's going on uh, and charging into a crowd of people and flying one of them up into the air with a big grin on her face. We have a phone. Now the phone I think would be a great uh, replacement for any statue uh, these days to go on a plinth because that is uh, a god in, in uh, many people's lives and we're all uh, addicted to it in one way or another. We might pretend that we're, we're not but it's interesting to know how many times you might look at your phone in a day. We come down this way and we see these three figures here uh, and I sort of class them as the, uh, the generic people. No individual style, the coffee on the go look, again all really not knowing what's going on.
in the centre here. Uh, this is, and it's, I found it quite difficult, it's supposed to represent really not a, uh, well it's supposed to represent a figure, I'm not denying that, but it's, uh, it's supposed to be of stone. Uh, and this is uh, my sort of take on misogyny, man's desire for women, which is, I'm sure has always been the case. But maybe we need to look at, um, at things in a different light again. Here I have an image of Trump and, and uh, we all have our personal opinions about people um, uh, and there's nothing can be done to change that. Um, he was uh, a fool and he may yet be another one soon. Um, but uh, I don't think that we have a world leader at the moment um, who, uh, I'm not saying not better than him, but, uh, um, you know, we have Macron, Trudeau and Boris, hardly uh, wonderful leaders in my view. And all the way through this theme, or themes is this snake long line of people head down looking at their phones going on and on and on until again not looking where they're going that they uh, are then like lemmings and falling off the cliff. I also have a representation with Twitter, with social media and all the uh, problems, good, good things as well, but all the problems that that brings to young people not being included and here I have a big troll um, whipping the people up into a frenzy. Ah, and by the way, this little group of people here, this couple, old couple, living out their life to the end in their camper van enjoying the summer hope this has explained it if you're in any way interested <laughs>